This once majestic warbird soared through the skies, protecting the nation during World War II. These birds are just not what they used to be. With the help of a volunteer yeah. staff, regular maintenance of the B-17 bomber is possible, but requires a lot of time and elbow grease. If the pilot logs a write-up, we do have to work on it afterwards. So, you know, we can probably quite literally be here two or three hours before the flight and, you know, up to midnight afterwards, depending on uh, what the problem is with the airplane. Only a handful of World War II warplanes still fly. A 69-year-old aluminum overcast is one of them, thanks to people like Terry Tucker. We're all volunteers. Uh, we, uh, we just for the love of aviation, we come out. But things don't always turn out as planned. A flight to take veterans out in Alabama was grounded for engine problems. You know, if you lose a, lose an engine or use, lose a cylinder or anything, it's quite time consuming and, and hunting up parts to get for it. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it's maintenance, it's mechanics, it's uh, older style, uh, you know, maintenance at its best, I guess you would say. Despite the challenges, the volunteer crew says it will keep toiling away to give veterans like Robert Scroggins a chance to relive his glory days. That was really great to be able to sit in that bombardier seat one more time after all these years. A devoted crew helping this bird soar again. Emily Roseman, The Associated Press.